Hello, everyone. We are here. Hi. I am David. This is Miles. Uh, hello. It's nice to be back on the show. <laughs> it's been a... Uh... So we've done a few of these episodes now. Um, David and Miles, there's some on my uh, David Dole page on YouTube, some on my Rational National page, and it's been a, quite a while since we did one. Actually, there's a lost episode you have never seen. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> the last one we did was, for any of you hockey fans out there, was um, the day the Leafs lost Game 7 in, in uh, the first round. Against and Tampa Bay. And a lot of our discussion was around how the Leafs are going to win that game. Right. <laughs> so, I even brought it over my Leafs jersey. Um, it was, there's a whole thing about it. And by the time it was re- ready to upload, it was like the game was over and they lost. And it was just not... It, we, were, it, we were down. Like, yeah. It, it wasn't going to really apply anymore. <laughs> Dave's like, I don't want to post that. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I feel like it wasn't a good episode. But no, actually, no. We got into a big fight. And that's why we haven't done one. <laughs> no, we haven't. We've been hanging out. We we hang out the same amount. Of, actually, that's a good question. Have we ever actually like really fought? Like how like like we're. Yeah, we had one fight. What was it about? It was about when I brought my dog down to the condo. That was it. I think that was literally our only fight. <laughs> we. It was more. It was more because we were both like really out of it. Yeah. And I, for some reason, I had like a lot of anxiety about. Oh yeah, no, I, was, I, I totally. Uh, I felt I felt bad for your dog. Like I don't know. I it shouldn't was, have brought was, the dog. No, it, I I love Chandler. Chandler's his dog, um, who had his teeth pulled recently. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> Maybe did. Maybe we can talk about that. It's great. It's it, my dog is like thirteen, going on fourteen, and he needed his teeth pulled and uh, got them pulled. It's if you're thinking about it, do it. If you're thinking about you, pulling your if, dog's teeth, yeah. If you're thinking about it, do it. It's totally worth it. He's so much happier. He just has to eat soft food. I love dogs, man. Anyway, I think that was the, like our only fight about uh, anything really. Any, we're very open. It with, wasn't even really a fight though. It was. No. It, it was more like I was mad, and it was it was unjustified. Right. <laughs> that's what. That's really what it was. What it was. Even if we did. I think we don't fight because we we're very open with each other. We yeah, can talk about anything with each other. So it's, so even if there is like a disagreement, yeah, we it's we dealt can, with in the moment. Yeah, we can squash it immediately. Yeah, we used to live together in college, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you used to take over that washroom for an hour at a time, bro. <laughs> and I was still okay. Are we gonna talk about the washroom? <laughs> <laughs> this guy would take his laptop. Would... He would take his laptop into the washroom, of course. and you would oh. He, there was that one song you kept playing that that Drake song. Forever. Yeah, forever. Drake is like Drake, Lil Wayne, um, uh, Kanye. Someone else is on it. Someone else. Eminem. Eminem. He <laughs> destroys everybody on the song. <laughs> Sorry. <Eminem. laughs> yeah, he's the best version. Yeah, that was in like '09 or something. Yeah, yeah, '09. And then when that song came, oh man, what a banger! Still just, a banger to this day. I would always hear because it it's like, oh, I have to go. I have to go to the washroom. Oh, I hear. Mm, 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 <laughs> just hear mm, the song play. Mm, mm. Great song. Yeah. Yeah, but. Whatever. It was fine. It was we, fun. We, we got through it. Those are some of my best years, I gotta say. Yeah, yeah. We had a good time. In I'm college. not I'm not sure I'll ever be able to have better years. Hey, than those years. you know what I was watching? I was watching um The Amazing Race Canada. You know the Amazing oh, yeah. Race. So yes. it was Amazing Race Canada. And uh the last episode they had a stop in Belleville where we went to college. And I was like, Man, what the hell? Seriously? What did they do there? They had to do like a sign language thing at the the uh, school for the deaf. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's like a renowned school for the deaf in Belleville. I thought maybe it was like find like the nearest criminal or something. <laughs> <laughs> Belleville's Bell like notorious. Like, yeah, Bell, well, when we went to school, there was like five murders in like the course of like three months. And the town's only like, at the time, the town was only like, had a population of like maybe 50,000. Yeah. And so then, it, was, it was quite a lot. And then there was that high profile one. Russell Williams. Russell Williams. The colonel. As I was leaving college, that was happening. Um, we had to cover it. We had a. I remember the our teacher because we. I did for anyone who who doesn't know Russell. Like, what was the like premise? Yeah, I guess uh, Russell Williams was the the commander of the Canadian Air Force. The like the command, the biggest, the highest ranking guy in the Canadian Air Force, and he, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> two women, and 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 <laughs> more, and he <laughs> the the ones that he killed as well. Terrible story. Um, and on top of that, he was like putting their underwear on and shit. Yeah, like, it was like some weird twisted stuff. Like, uh, and filming everything, and like 
it's terrible. You go on YouTube. There's a, if you follow Jim Can't Swim on YouTube, they do a great breakdown. The, the interrogation is one of the most yeah amazing pieces of video I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, so we were in broadcasting, broadcast journalism, and we I've interacted with them, and a lot of people in our class interacted with them. I remember our teacher when the the story broke that he got arrested. They were like, they like brought us all in to the yeah. room, and they're like. Okay, this is the biggest story you're ever going to cover, and it is to this day. Yeah, um, it's hard to match. But them. they had like they had, and they had like uh, therapists that like were, if any of the girls especially felt uncomfortable because they had interactions with them, they could go and talk to them. Anyway, this is really dark. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get on. How do we get on this? Oh yeah, <laughs> Belleville crime. Belleville. Yeah, there was a ton of murders there. We have some cool stuff coming up though, guys. Yeah, some funny clips, <laughs> some space. So I hope we haven't lost you. <laughs> but no, um, no, those are great years, minus you know that. <laughs> it was <laughs> hey man, it was a big deal at the time. It was yeah, it was like international news. Um, but yeah, I uh, I'm always fascinated by that case. But uh, mm -hmm. he's a piece of shit. And oh, since the last time I saw you, I went to the Kingston Penitentiary, uh, which is Canada's. It was Canada's maximum security prison. The, the worst of the worst went there. And yes, Russell Williams was there. Went on a tour and they're like, they couldn't tell you specifically. There's like a law uh, saying, you know, we can't tell you exactly what cell. Mm. But he's like, everybody that you're thinking of right now has been in these cells. Like these <laughs> cells in particular. So right like here. they're like, like certain cells where like the big people went. In the United States, it's called um, solitary. Oh, solitary. And, okay. But in Canada, it's called segregation. So they were in segregation. There was like 10 cells, I think. Mm. And he's like, the guys that you're thinking of, Bernardo, Russell oh, like Williams, people. Yeah. Clifford Olson, like they were all in these cells right here. So 23-hour day lockdown. They'd get to go outside for one hour a day in this tiny little courtyard that was like fenced in, like everywhere, fenced in over top. And it's like a, a just a concrete slab on the ground with like a drain in it. It was, but good because you're a piece of shit, right? Don't be a bad guy. It's just, it's the lesson. There. Be that, a good, be a, what, be a good person. That's what I learned coming out of there. I was like, don't be mean. Don't, don't be mean. Don't be mean to people. Be nice to people. Anyway. Anyways. So yes, um, that's basically all that's new that with me. Yeah, um, I've just been working. I've been sick a lot. Sick quite a bit. Yeah. You Last were. time we saw each other, I was just coughing and yeah. wasn't good. Quite sick. And I, I still have rib pain. Mm -hmm. I have some weird rib pain. I don't know what it is. It's probably cancer, stage four, but you know, it's fine. I've had rib pain before. <laughs> You're going to be fine. Maybe you've coughed so much that you've strained that's something. What, yeah, that's that's what it likely You was. had an x-ray, right? Yeah, and they and there was no like pneumonia. So it's... Right, and so that all happened in one day. You got an x-ray, you got And antibiotics. blood work done. Oh, man, Canada's healthcare system is sick, bro. <laughs> Didn't have to pay a thing, did you? No. Except for the antibiotics, maybe? Antibiotics I did, because I'm not... Actually, How I much could, was that, $12? It was like 20 bucks. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not Worked bad. out well. Worked out well. So, our healthcare... I gotta say, it's not perfect. There are some issues, especially right now. I've been to the emergency room several times. Yes. The wait time is, like, minimum five hours. But usually, have, like, eight hours. You didn't have to turn into Walter White. No. <laughs> no. I did not have to start cooking meth. And... <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's no. great. It's yeah, it's better than you know the the American alternative, but there are some other countries out there that do you know much better than we do. But whatever, you're It'll, fine. Things you're will get fine. things will get better. Yeah, it's it's all good. Anyway, um, well, yeah, I'm happy to be back doing this. It's uh, it's fun. We're having beers. We're having Stella. In case you uh, beer snobs wanted to know, they're gonna hate us because of that. Why? Uh, apparently, like, like to Europeans, Stella is like garbage. Oh. And here it's good. <laughs> I don't... Here's the thing. I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. I like... I, I really enjoy Stella. I did. Stella's a great, easy to drink beer. I know that I you like it. Stella. That's why I got it. Um, but you paid for it. But I did... I picked it up. Um, I trust you in your selections. But I, uh, I did... I did back in May when we had the big power outage here in Ontario... I had to come and shower at Dave's a few times because my power was out. Anyway, I bought a case of Labatt Blue. That, that's disgusting. It was <laughs> so bad. 
<laughs> Why'd you buy that? Don't ever drink it on that sale room. or what? I don't know. I just saw it and I was like, yeah, you sure. Curious? I'm going to try oh, it. Okay. I drank 12 of them. Oh. But <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, I've had Le Bablu. Oh, it is, it is not. Shit. It is. It is no, shit. The, ba- I, I can't drink Le Bablu. I can't drink Canadian. I can't drink Budweiser. I like those Canadian. Are, I can't drink those three. No. They, 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 like, I don't drink like Can- 10, you know, Budweiser. 10, 15 years ago, I could. <laughs> but I can't drink those now. Canadian just, is still good to me. I like it. Mm, anyway. Yeah. It's, it's the best of those three, but it's still not, it's still not great. Anyways, <laughs> how about we do a little, uh, little... Our first little prepared thing here. Yeah, yeah. That. Uh, so I covered this on my channel. It's doing quite well, I have to say. <laughs> um, this is the best Trump impression. And actually, Miles has not seen the other Trump impression. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get... Uh, maybe you've seen it before. I don't know. But we're going to get your first impressions on that. So uh, let's go uh, small here. Here we go. So a lot of you likely have seen this by now, especially if you follow me. But maybe you haven't seen this. This is Jamie Foxx with, I think, the most accurate Trump impression. Yeah, I, I've seen this. It's amazing. It's uh, amazing. And Snoop Dogg's there with him, a couple other guys. I don't know who they yeah, are. This is the Rap Radar podcast. Okay, Rap Radar. So, okay, know, cool. Elliot Wilson, I guess, is hosted. Cool. But let's check this out. It's a lot of great people on both sides. Mark's a great people on both sides. I know Harry O. He's a great person. He couldn't vote for me at the time. Now he can vote for me once he gets out. I love Snoop Deal Double G. Great person. So do you love Death Row Records? I love people Death Row. I love Death Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fake news. I love Death Row. What's your favorite Death Row record, uh, Mr. Trump? All of them. <laughs> All of the death row records. Don't try to pin me down. Let's see what he just... Excuse me. Fake news. Excuse me. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> so look out for they you tried now. to give me the virus. <laughs> <laughs> I beat the virus. Why say they tried to... They, they tried to give me the virus. Like, who is they? And the motherfucker said, I beat the virus. They were like, fuck you! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he beat it! Trump, boy. <laughs> Oh my God! If you close your eyes and yeah. listen to that, like, Uncanny. you could fool anybody. Yeah. Like, no. if someone hasn't heard that yet, bring that clip up to them. Don't tell them it's it's an impression, and just be like, and just play it for them. Yeah. Without them seeing it, and they probably think it's Trump. It's so accurate. He's, he's amazing, man. It, it was... I, the talent on Jamie Foxx yeah. is insane. I like he's uh, playing uh, Mike Tyson in a uh, something coming up. Mm. I saw. It. And his I'm Mike, sure. I'm sure it'll be Mike perfect. Tyson impression is unreal. Yeah, as well. So I haven't seen. It. I'm sure. I'm sure it's perfect. Yeah. So who is this other guy? So this guy. This is James Austin, James Austin Johnson. He's actually, since this has been hired by SNL. Actually, he's, he's been on SNL now for like I think a year. Really? So he does Trump on SNL. But this is like before he you know made it big. This is uh, this. I think this is the first time I saw him do the Trump impression. Okay. And basically, he gets the stream of consciousness down like Pat. So. Mm-hmm. Let me play uh, this. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. They call him Scooby Doo. <laughs> they call show Scooby Doo. But Scooby doesn't do anything. Scooby is not involved. At the time, Scooby's not even involved. He's just a bystander. <laughs> it's one of the worst deals we've ever had. To call a show Scooby-Doo and then not deliver on Scooby-Doo. We, this is not a show about a dog sniffing its ass, okay? <laughs> this is your show up with the mystery team in a van. And they walk around and they do, you know, they they figure out, you know, mystery. They're solving mystery. <laughs> and Scooby is not involved in any way, shape, form. Scooby, frankly, gets much too much Attention, money. <laughs> We're giving way too much attention to Mr. Scooby. And he's not doing anything. Scooby do, he doesn't do. So we call him Scooby, but he doesn't do. We call him Scooby, but he doesn't do. It's a terrible deal. The show, by the way, if we were talking about who actually was doing anything, solving mystery and helping cry, stopping the bad guys who are really not so bad. If you talk to some of these guys, they just want to remake the world into a better place if it wasn't for these meddlesome kids and their stupid dog. Okay? But we're doing a show about mystery, team. You know, they're solving the mystery. They should call the show Velma. 
Why don't they call this show Velma? <laughs> Fred and Daphne, they're just over there porking in the corner. They're not doing they're not doing any of the making out being unhelpful, okay? Fred just drives. Fred's just the driver. He doesn't drive the plot and he doesn't drive the mystery and he doesn't solve the mystery. He just moves the van from place to place. A to B. And it's a very unhelpful thing. We don't even need the van. The van does not play narrative. It does not have narrative role okay, in the van. We can't be doing the same crime in the same place. We need to move on to a new monster. Huh. <laughs> I think he does like the funnier version. Of yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's much funnier. Jamie Foxx is like sounds just yeah. Like a, Jamie Foxx is like perfect. Like, yeah, you're right. The stream of consciousness. Yeah, there. it's just like yeah. And the, he has several. He has one about Pokemon. Like it, they're, they're they're fucking hilarious. They're so funny. That they're is so amazing. funny. That is um, like totally. That is what Trump would say yeah. about Scooby Doo. Why don't we call it Velma? <laughs> yeah. Scooby. Scooby doesn't do anything. <laughs> Scooby Doo. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> it is. It's. It's. It's so. It's so. Oh, good. that is so it's funny. So good. Oh, my cheeks hurt from. No, at this. That. <laughs> good. No, if you want to go like on your own time, go watch more. He is. He's hilarious. Hilarious with this shit. Oh my god. Oh, that's good. That was really Anyways, good. Anyways. What's his name? Uh, James Austin. Mustang. Mustang. No, but James it's, Austin. It's James Austin Johnson. Shrimp J-A-J on Twitter. Go back, search his videos. You will find... Okay. You will find... James uh, Mustang Johnson. That's a good... Mm-hmm. At Shrimp J-A-J. Very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's... He, I think he's SNL's, like, best talent <laughs> right now. Does he act on the show or is he a writer? But I, I think he does both, but he 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 does Trump on the show now, so yeah. he's the new Trump because obviously <laughs> Alec Baldwin doesn't do it anymore. I've watched no. SNL in so long. This guy's way better than Alec Baldwin. I don't know. As well, Alec Baldwin was he was pretty. Speaking of Alec he was, Baldwin, he's pretty good. Oh, Alec Baldwin's wife shared my tweet. <laughs> right, we forgot to talk about this. Yes, we have to talk about oh, here. I'll, I'll Dave up. had a viral tweet. I had a. Speaking of which, somebody stole my fucking tweet and used it for their TikTok. Shut up. Yeah, I was, I was. So, somebody tagged me. Somebody tagged me. I got, I've got to find how to find TikTok on, on, on here. But first, we'll show the tweet. God damn it! I hate when people steal jokes. Oh, it's, and the, and the, and then the person commented. So the a person commented. So first, let's do the tweet, saying, uh, "So I was like, here's half my income." daycare cool here's a new virus every other week very good i i tweeted this mostly out of frustration right. <laughs> and people really uh seem to uh rock with it One hundred five thousand likes this is like my biggest tweet of all the time yeah um it's a big and, tweet oh my god all these like freaking massive like parenting accounts on instagram were like sharing this <laughs> it was like i saw i saw it personally on instagram on like three or four different pages and i'm like <laughs> Holy shit! Like, and I, I follow I follow the the dad on Instagram. It's like a big parenting account, and I I open Instagram and I see my tweet. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Um, let me see if I can find. I saw it on like. TikTok. I saw it on like batches, on Instagram. Batch. It's, it's like supposed to be like bitches, but it's called batches. Batches. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so somebody stole your joke. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the TikTok up on my phone and see if I can find the account on um, on here. But you have a TikTok account. Is it Amy Lee? Let's see. Just I don't really use it. Amy, Amy Lee, I think, is the person. Mm. Well, 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 let's let see. see let's see, Amy Lee. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think this is, is this the person. Is that her? No, that's not that's her. That's not her. She's not Asian. Amy Lee. What the hell? How many goddamn Amy Lees are there? Probably a lot. Oh. Isn't the girl from uh, Evanescence named Amy Lee or something? <laughs> <Is she? laughs> Here we go. It's a different. I feel like this person's not big because she ain't popping up until I write her name exactly yeah, perfectly. Not... Oh, that's her. Is this her? Yeah, man. Yeah, that's her. All right. Let's uh, get to the bottom of this. Here we go. Look at this. One point. Not, first of all, let's look at her other ones. Not even anywhere near. Look at this. 1,700. Oh, shit. Her biggest one is it's you. me.
Look at that shit. Four days ago, I put my tweet is let's let's be clear here. August 10th. This was four days ago, like August 22nd or something. Ridiculous. Obviously it stolen. Have been so bad if she took the time to at you. Yeah. It, and like had the if she gave me credit, uh, whatever. Yeah. But like full up, just full on, just stole it. One point, she's probably making money off this. Apparently, you can make money off on TikTok. I don't know how, I'm but not, I'm not cool with this at all. I'm glad we're exposing <clears throat> this right now. Some garbage right there. And actually, she recently commented, so I, I, I'm not logged in here, but I can pull up her comment here because somebody replied, yeah. saying, uh, "Please give the guy, please give credit to the guy that wrote this viral tweet, David Dole." And then she responded to this. Yeah. If I can find the response. It says on the TikTok creator. It doesn't sound like she creates much at all, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder how many of her other, her other ones were stolen. Look well, at obviously this. not getting 1.9 million this, views. Look at this bullshit. I'm going to have a beer now. She's saying not like I made any money from it. Oh, so now you're admitting it. Except he is not where I heard this from. What a freaking liar. Oh, so the, you're the only one who did that. The person defending me is like, this tweet is everywhere and viral. Now, uh, now you know. She's like, that's great. Not where I heard it, but good for him. What a, what a let's bad see her, person. Let's, let's see your other crap. What a bad person. Let's see your other crap. Yeah. Let's what else let, have you posted? That's okay. failed. So it's the only one that, okay. So you're averaging maybe close to a thousand views. Look at this insanity. Nothing's even else close to one. Here we go. 37,000. Okay. I bet you this was stolen too. I don't know who, who the hell's Kalen Ponga. This this doesn't apply to anybody here. They're all no, nowhere near. Oh, let's watch one with like very very little views. I hate TikTok. Why is it just her? <laughs> well, that's I mean a lot of TikTok just like kind of act. There's this shit. other uh, chick on Instagram that always keeps popping up in my feed. And she always, she just, she'll literally read just motivational quotes. 5.5 5 million, million views. It's there. like, <laughs> it's like, I'll like, I'll like see the quote and I'll hear it. And I'll be like, fuck, why did I think of this? Just read motivational quotes off Google and Pinterest. And now she has like this massive following. And so just, like, just reading and other and like quotes. all the comments are like, you go girl. Like, yeah, hell I needed this today. And it's like, oh my God. A Just reading someone else's quotes. Social fucking media is so fucking stupid. <laughs> Fuck, it's dumb. That's, I mean, yeah. For people to just, actually, I mean, there are entire, like, comedy, quote-unquote comedy accounts that are literally just stealing other jokes without credit. When I, like, my Instagram, I, I in my story, I post a lot of, like, tweets, but I use that person's tweet, right. like I cre like obviously it's their tweet. I'm not stealing. It's, it's like if I copy and paste someone else's idea or oh, someone else's joke yeah, and yeah. put it as my. Like who does that kind I of? I saw shit? this dude on Facebook that I knew who was doing that. He was he was he was just posting jokes from like the internet, but like as himself. And it was like, how does anybody like at that point? You're it's clear you're just doing it for attention. Yeah. Unfree. Anyways, screw this, this 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 person. Whatever. Whatever. Steal. Maybe what think of some... Amy Leans? Yeah, th think of some are, original you're a, shit. You're a joke thief. Yeah, joke thief. Joke thief. It wouldn't be so From bad. New Zealand. It wouldn't oh, be so Well, bad. now I have a negative opinion of New Zealand, so... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't before, but now I do. <laughs> it wouldn't have been so bad if you just acknowledged I, that you... I bet you she doesn't even have kids. Because, look, she doesn't married. Doesn't say married with kids. So here she is making a joke about daycare. Or not a joke, making a comment about daycare. 18 plus, my content's a little twisted sometimes. Any kids in these? I don't see any kids. I bet you she has... I, I don't know. I, I, I can only speculate. Comments about daycare and no kids? Yeah, okay. Whatever, man. Okay. I, you know what? There's a okay. million of these. Okay. It's too okay. bad that she didn't quote you, for sure. But there's definitely a million of these <laughs> fucking pages. Oh, yeah, for this sure. Is why... No, no, no. Oh, man, I hate that. <laughs> Social media is fine. It's fine for some things. It's, I mean, it's literally like my job. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, is YouTube social media? Does that count as social media? I think so. It's it's television on yeah. on the internet, mo mostly. I guess it's kind of social media. I don't even know. 
social like I think social media mostly has like like Twitter, Facebook. This it's totally. I guess this. T- I mean if TikTok social media, then I, I remember, guess so is okay, YouTube. My girlfriend, um, for for like for like a while there was like this jar in the windowsill at her house. There was this jar full of water with a banana peel in it. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Why is that? And then I was like, oh, she must have been watching TikTok or something. I was like, why is there a banana peel and water in this jar like here forever? She's like, oh, because you put, you put the peel in the water and then let it soak. And then you pour the water on your plants. And it's like, <laughs> it fertilizes it or whatever. I was like, oh. Do you see it on TikTok? She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that legit though? Or I guess a... I don't know. I fucking. Hate... I bet you there I are hate... accounts out there that just like make shit up, and then people just like millions of people like follow it. I just, hate like... gardening. Oh man, you know what the worst I don't like. <laughs> but you're like a, you do much. What's much tougher than gardening? Like beekeeping. That's like that's almost like gardening. What's up? <laughs> but, uh... but with like danger no no beekeeping is so much easier the bees take care of everything themselves mm, you know I what i mean you just have to give them room to uh thrive basically but like with uh, plants you got to fucking water them all the time they're they're yeah. totally relying on you if the weather doesn't cooperate but bees they'll yeah. fucking do whatever they want um actually just put another box on the beehive the other day carrie did it so it was good i finally had your honey when i was sick good it's a like half the jars i got yeah in like a week yeah <laughs> really good really really good honey. yeah Soft. it's totally unpasteurized oh yeah it's 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 fantastic um anyway um what was i gonna say oh yeah so uh, with gardening I, I hate it i i like i like the plants that lay like they live on their own like you can do plant. their own thing it's like a cactus like uh what do you call it, a perennial or something yeah i like Let's i like come back on their own i like bonsai trees i like cactuses or cacti is it cacti? I don't know. Whatever, whatever it is. Cacti. Yeah. But, uh... I don't know. I like cutting the lawn. <laughs> I don't like cutting the lawn. <laughs> it's it's just like... It's a waste of time. Uh, I, I like seeing the lines and seeing how nice and short. I, I like a cut lawn, but I don't like cutting the lawn. <laughs> oh. No, I like cutting it. I like... I like I Think do. about it. Isn't that kind of weird... Uh, was, Where did this it, come from? Uh, it's weird. It's that, definitely that weird. We all thought, you know what? It's a good idea to have this thing in front of our homes that causes us to do work every week for no reason. It just looks better. I have some fucking rocks out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have some rocks <laughs> and some nice trees. A lot of stuff. people in like, you know, warmer, like LA people do hey, that. Hey, man, I really like when like a house is like set back in the woods just a little bit off the road. You know what I mean? Like mm. it's just surrounded by woods. There's not really mm. a lawn. There's just like woods. It's just like it. nature. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Cool, man. Kind of yeah. like, kind of like the, the background there. Mm. Yeah. We're, we're out in the, the wilderness right now. Did it freeze? What the hell? Still looks really good. It fr- no, it didn't freeze. Hey, that water's not running though. Anyways, let's. Uh, if you've been <clears> watching <throat> these podcasts at all, you'll know that we've been talking about the James Webb Space Telescope. It's fully operational now. We're getting images back. We've seen images. We missed know. the. Ho- I know we never actually had like a discussion about the initial images, did we? Well, they are incredible, and everybody knows about. Yeah, you, you all know. Because it happened in like fucking July. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but recently, a uh, new shot of Jupiter that James Webb took, and uh, Whoa-ho! It's pretty incredible, because obviously when we think about Jupiter, it's like beige and blue and red and stuff like this, but now this is like in the infrared. I think it's in the infrared. It's from the near cam. Composite image of Jupiter from three filters. Yeah. So red, yellow, green, and cyan. So what you're seeing... Uh, at the top and the bottom is northern lights and southern lights, the aurora of the planet from the magnetic pole. And then all the other shit that's <laughs> crazy in there. So what do you know what this shows us that we don't normally see from Jupiter in like a typical actual like real color mm-hmm. image? Um, I think... I just think like more just, detail in like the storms yeah, and stuff? Yeah, just showing more detail. <clears throat> um, there's another picture of it... Um, and it shows like the moons beyond it. There it is. Oh, right that's there. cool. And there's actually a ring around Jupiter yeah. that I didn't know about, but probably other I, space people did. I knew that. But like, <laughs> I, I did. I knew it had a ring. Really? Yeah. 
Well, I didn't know really that it had a ring. I knew you it was. Could see the yeah. ring in the picture there. I knew it wasn't as prominent, incredible. but I knew it had one. But um, so there's a couple mm-hmm. of moons in the picture, and then there's a couple of galaxies. If you look closely, mm-hmm. you have to find the picture yourself. To see. Yeah, but I really um, zoom in. But uh, it's so like that picture is incredible. Like yeah. the way Jupiter looks there. I do. Wa- I do want to see like there we, oh, there go. we go. I do want to see like a a color like a a, a proper color version from the James James Webb Space Telescope of Jupiter. Just well, so it looks like. there. There like, is, I like this, but it's like, this is like a scientific view. I want to see, like, what it actually looks like. <laughs> well, there's lots there's lots of pictures of what That's Jupiter true. Yeah, like. we have, like, really close images. That's true. There's high-def images of Jupiter. There's a high-def image of... Saturn, too. Fucking Pluto. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, actually... That's probably the most blown-away image I've seen up to this point of space. It's just, like... Because you... We had no idea what Pluto looked I remember like. when that Pluto image came out, and, like, it was, like, a hype day in the space community. <laughs> and uh, I remember uh, my old co-host on the radio, Ron McFarland, God bless his soul. Um, he, uh, he, he's, he was big into space too. And, and so when that came out, we were just like mesmerized by it. We were looking at it all day on the computer and it was just like, there was like that kind of like heart. Yeah. Shape yeah, on yeah. It. And it was like, wow. You know, like yeah. Pluto's like, here's Pluto's my amazing. moment. Hey, I love you guys. Take a look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so cool to see it. But I, and, and, and there was another uh, carbon dioxide was detected on a planet from the James Webb just the That's other right. day. We got that here too. It was, um, it was around a gas alien giant. world <clears throat> for the first time. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's a gas giant. So it, there's not no life on it. Yeah. But, like but no real life, but definitive carbon dioxide. Yeah. On the atmosphere. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> if there was life there, maybe they could breathe. <laughs> well, I think we need... Something gives off carbon dioxide, right? That's yeah. What, that's what we know. That's true, yeah. So Something gives it off. What can give off carbon dioxide in a, on a gas giant? Plants and trees and... So well, I, uh, not... I guess that's the next question then. Is like, yeah, exactly. Or maybe they know the answer. I, don't, I haven't read about it. If we read that article verbatim uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> CO2 just popped. Yeah, there's zero chance I'm reading all of this. Bean? Who's Bean? Bean says. <laughs> Bean. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Bean. Bean. University of Chicago. Web team member. You don't know this guy already? Jacob Bean. I thought you are up on this shit. I don't know. I thought you know all the team members. Man. <laughs> Well, first of all, there's lots of them. I can't know all. The, I, you know what? I don't know one. Hubble part. and Spitzer have whatever Spitzer is have previously found water vapor, sodium, and potassium in Wasp's 39B's atmosphere. Why don't they actually like give these planets some real names? Wasp 39B's. Okay. You know what? Before long, there's going to be. They're going to look at a planet that they've Earth or what they think is a planet. That's like Earth like. That's Earth like, and they're gonna fucking find out some shit. Yeah. I I want that to happen. <laughs> if it can look so far back, like I don't know, why can't it look just at where they think a planet is? I know it's hard because it's well, so it, small. I mean, there's still like yeah. Like they there's so much galaxies, detail you can see, right? From, from so I, far I was away. watching a video about space though, where they were discussing there's this plan to or it's still in the works, but a plan to send out this um it, it's like a a satellite, but it's it's boosted by the sun's rays. I forget what it's called, like a, like a sail, yeah, I saw a this. solar yes, sail, yes, yes, yes. and yeah. it, it can apparently get to like twenty percent of the speed of light. So in twenty five, so basically in twenty years, it can get to a planet that may be Earth like and photograph it from close up. Right. Yes, I heard about that. So if they actually launch Stephen that, Hawking, maybe in twenty years we'll Stephen see. Stephen Hawking before he died, they were talking about having um, these little tiny little lasers like a whole bunch of them a whole bunch of them and you can control them from earth basically th- through laser like pointing a laser straight out and it it pushes the sail oh, okay yeah yeah um i forget yeah, it's, what it's, i forget it's, what the project was called but that may be it i mean I was it's, like, it's I was boosted like, i was like whatever man <laughs> <laughs> that's some nerd shit whatever <laughs> <laughs> should we do this now? Okay, so we're just rolling here. Let's get to uh, all right. You want to set it up somehow? 
Sure. Okay, so Nathan Fielder. Have you guys watched the rehearsal, first of all? That's right. Rehearsal, his new show on HBO. It is very good. It is... I, I'm telling you, if you haven't seen it, unlike anything you've ever watched. That's and, 100% true. Yeah, it is unlike anything you've ever seen. It is so... I didn't want to like say anything. It's just so weird. It's... You have to watch the rehearsal to yeah. experience it. We, there's no way we can describe no. it in any way that will make sense. Um, watch it, though. Yeah. That's what I will say. Watch it for sure. It is so funny. But before the rehearsal, right, there we was had this show. Nathan, for you. Uh, it was on HBO. A lot of people know it. Um, but recently, there was a clip that came back up. And it's it, this is literally my favorite episode of comedy tv of all time <laughs> this and it's a clip from this particular episode and this clip in particular is what makes it so funny for me um and this is maybe the first time nathan's like really broke like it, he's he's he, i mean he plays himself but he he's definitely like you know tries to play he, it straight he plays himself and... but you know because he's so funny he must laugh he must like to laugh on the show nathan yeah. never laughs yeah on on nathan for you he never laughs he's always straight edge and dull and fucking dry, but his comedy is like top notch. So anyway, right. there was he, he did this an episode, clip. Yeah, he did an episode. There was a gas rebate program with his gas station owner. This is a gas station owner, and people had to go do a rebate. Anyway, this is at the end of the episode, and they're talking about. Let's not even. Just, here's the, here's the. You'll clip. see what happens. <laughs> Ray Primus. Oh, he was willing to drink pee. Pee? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Who's pee? No, just anyone's pee. Anyone's pee? He says there's no germs. Oh, maybe it. they can drink my grandson's pee. It's very clean. Yeah? <laughs> well, why? Uh, because it's clean. Why drink my why pee or is your pee? <laughs> promoting your grandson's pee. Well, I am promoting because grandson's pee sometimes helps. It's, it's, it's so really helps. Have you drank your grandson's pee? Yeah. Why? I was scared. What do you mean you were scared? Yeah, sometimes you're scared for for. He's trying to keep it together. You what are you know, talking about? <laughs> accident or something, you drink the grandson's pee, and it's going to help you. I don't understand. <laughs> Why does it help you if you drink your grandson's pee? That's what they say. Yeah. Who says that? My grandma. Your Long grandma time said? Ago, yeah. You I drink your grandson's yeah, pee if you get scared. <laughs> Not grandsons, any little kid. You drink <laughs> Not over age any of little. five, because before... <clears throat> Over age of five, it's it's, it's terrible. <laughs> I have never. <laughs> I am serious about it. But why? Yeah, if you're scared, you drink the small child's pee. It helps. I heard from my grandma. <laughs> you can ask your parents or grandparents. Maybe they tell you too. I will ask. I okay, guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving this idea. <laughs> If you're scared, so... you drink the pee of a scared. small child. And any small child. <laughs> Under five. <laughs> <laughs> and there they are with the hug at the end. Uh, yeah, that laugh out of Nathan, like I've never seen that. Right. He's, he's totally broke. No, yeah, he, he doesn't usually break character. At all. <laughs> he just couldn't handle it. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the first time he's ever smiled in that show. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. <clears throat> it's just like It's amazing. But that whole episode's amazing. When he like they're on the hill and he's got all these riddles for the people that actually do try to go yeah, for the that's, rebate. Oh yeah, that's right. That wasn't an amazing episode. Yeah, that episode oh, was really that, so that episode was crazy. It's so good. <laughs> it's just like cuts to like it just Nathan is really good at bringing out like the human aspect yeah the human aspect of people like with no filter like they yeah i, I don't know how he does it but like they've a lot of it's they'll because, open right up to him a lot of it's because of awkward silence like if you force someone into awkward silence who you don't know very well they want to fill that silence and then that kind of i think that that's what it is it, like you fill that silence with like whatever you're feeling right <laughs> you know what i mean well ray, try to break the ray, awkwardness ray Priebus, the guy he was talking about like cuts and it's like He's like, and then now I'm being investigated for arson, and now I'm, I'm drinking my own urine, and like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it just goes on and on. Yeah. It's amazing. Anyway, it's a really good show. Really love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you think that think that's good enough? I think we're we're at forty minutes. Look at that! Wow, time just flew by today. Amazing. That's right. Amazing.
You know we had a, a good time when. We had a great time. We had a great time. And we'll continue having a good time tonight. That's right, we will. We we I think we both really need this. <laughs> I think we do too. There, there, there was there was a a joke i i think it was on twitter anyways uh, i'm taking credit it's my joke i made it up uh, someone's like drake's the kind of guy to to be with friends drinking and be like i really need this <laughs> <laughs> we love drake too we we enjoy drake but the, the drake memes are funny yeah to say. <laughs> yeah yeah, when you're laughing with friends and being like, I really needed this. I really this. needed this. Yeah, totally. <laughs> shout out to uh, Drake. Shout out to Drake. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks a lot. By the way, he's not racist. I know the Canadian hat. We, 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 didn't, we didn't address this. I. <laughs> Let's quickly address this. I wore it. Apparently now, if you have the Canadian flag, it's kind of racist. I mean, it's, no. It's if you not ha- racist. If you have it on your truck, it means you're a dipshit, basically. Right. I got this hat. It's a great hat. It's actually a Blue Jays hat because uh, the Blue Jays. Sometimes, I actually like this hat a the lot. Blue, quite a the, bit. the Blue Jays sometimes rock that insignia, and um, you know we're close to Toronto, so the Jays are our baseball team. But but um, ever since the convoy, my, yeah, my girlfriend's parents got me this hat, and it's a nice hat. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna nice. wear it today. And then I was driving, and I was like, shit, do I look like? One of those fucking convoy truck freedom cunts. Not even truckers, like <laughs> again, fake truckers. I cover this all anyway. Anyways, anyways, separate I'm not. story. <laughs> but no, Miles is not that person. It's a Romero hat. Oh shit. Or Romano. <laughs> Romano. It's a nice hat though. See, I like it quite a, pitcher. a bit. He's a pitcher for the Jays. It's a very nice hat. There we go. Anyways, have a good night, everybody. See ya. Bye. <laughs>